Hey everybody, welcome back, Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at one of the most classy and elegant Lego sets ever produced. It's from a new collection called the Botanical Collection, and this is the Flower Bouquet. Comes loaded full of amazing flowers that use some great parts and are very highly detailed. They look simply incredible. This is an 18 plus set, 10280 is the set number, 700 and 56 pieces to create this huge bouquet of flowers here. On the back of the box, you can see some more highly detailed pictures of these flowers as they're sort of spread out in this picture here. You can also see a very classy image in a home decor setting, and it's right beside the fireplace. You can also see the size of the flower. So they're actually life size. They're 36 centimeters or 14 inches tall. And they actually all range in size so that you can make a nice arrangement. This is the instruction manual for the flower bouquet. As you can see, it neatly displays all 15 pieces in which you build on the front cover. And then it gives you a little bit of background on each flower. So you have the rose, the snapdragon, lavender, aster, common daisy, California poppy, then you can also meet the designer. Came with three bags total, each bag building different flowers. Great part usage found throughout this entire set here. A little bit of repetition as you build the same flowers, but overall a great set that can be displayed in a nice household setting or of course in a Lego room. I went to Ikea and I bought a vase for, I think it was six or seven, eight dollars, something like that and it just displays this beautiful Lego set perfectly. Actually, my wife made them into a nice arrangement here after I built them during a live stream. And you can see all the flowers here. Nice contrast of colors and incredible part usage. I literally cannot get over the different parts that they use to create each of these flowers. The stems of each flower are uh, different sizes. So you can put them in a nice arrangement. You can see it comes with a lot of different flowers, also a lot of different leaf elements as well. And we're gonna take a detailed look at each flower. We will start with the rose here. It's actually done in a color called light nougat. And the petals are actually a car hood or hubcap. And then you have the bud in the middle there. And check out the leaf. It's actually a animal wing. You also have a thorn coming out of either side of the stem. You'll see that this stem is angled at the top there. Two of them are like this, but you get one that's standing upright as well. So you can put it in the center of your bouquet. Then you can have the two others leaning forward. Really clever design. All of these stems are essentially built using some Technic components, Technic pins and axles. Also in the first bag, we built two common daisies. I'd say this is the most simplistic of all of the flowers found in the bouquet. It's got a straight stem. Some pretty basic elements to create this look here with some of those two by two circular tiles, but definitely captures the look of a nice looking common daisy. One of the larger flowers in the bouquet is the Snapdragon. Definitely a nice contrast of colors in this build. You got some lime green at the top there, along with some sand green. Also some pink. And then it transitions down into a reddish violet. As you have the flowers on the bottom there that are capped with the crown leaves. A beautiful design. You can see the core of it is actually a sand green color. And then we get a couple interesting looking leaf elements here on the stem as well. Once again, we get two of these. One has a angled stem and one is straight. And this orange one here is the California poppy. Definitely a nice design. You get the, once again, the bowed pieces there, which are actually hood pieces, I believe, in bright orange. The yellow center with those connectors there. And those connecting pieces add a nice texture just around the center of the flower. Then you get some bowed and arched pieces on the side here to add a nice shape to the flower. 
Those petals are killer though. Love it. Looks beautiful. That bright orange color really pops. And what's interesting is a lot of the flowers actually come with these large axle pieces in sand green. I could be wrong, but I think that's sort of a rare find. In conjunction with that, we got two of these grass elements here. And they have the green bushes on the top. In addition to those grass elements, we also got these ones here. This is some great part usage right here. This is actually a claw element. And you'll see on the back side of it, a surfboard. And you can see that it is moving. It's on a hinge, so you can position your leaf so that it looks good within your bouquet. And a nice sand green color as well. So these are spot on. And once again, you get three of these. And I like how there's a dark green contrast on the bottom of it. It adds a lot of realism to this grass element. You also get one lavender flower. This one was definitely the most repetitive to build, but it definitely looks nice. You use those gold elements on the base, and then you have these small purple flowers. You have to build nine of those small purple flowers, so it takes a little bit of time and it's a little bit repetitious, but creates a very authentic looking lavender flower. I also like these crown elements on the base of the flower. I believe those are crowns. They actually used one of those in the most recent modular, which was the police station hidden underneath the stairs. Speaking of lavender, next we have the aster, and it has a lot of those leaf elements in a medium lavender color. This is probably my favorite flower from the bouquet. It's just got the most going on. It's got those leaves just everywhere. Oh, I don't know though, that's hard to say. They're all so cool and have such great part usage. It's absolutely incredible. And I really like this one. It's just really busy. It's really full. It looks really good. It looks like some of my petals moved around as we put them in the arrangement there. But yeah, it's just a beautiful design. I really like it. It's crazy. All the flowers in this bouquet set have some pretty simple building techniques, but that's what always blows me away is I would never think to use parts and pieces in this way to create such a beautiful arrangement. And Lego and Lego designers shock me every time. I've got a petal falling off there. It's like real life. <laughs> but it's a beautiful arrangement of all the different flowers and grass elements. Like I was saying, you get 15 different ones. And it's just a nice contrast of colors and it looks so elegant. You can display this in your house or in your Lego room. It's beautiful. I think my wife is going to allow this to be upstairs, which is very positive. That means Lego's leaving the Lego room and making its way upstairs. So that's it for today. I hope you liked my review on this new amazing elegant Lego set known as the Flower Bouquet. Let me know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.